going on, Fan Clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Happy Monday. We don't usually record a video on Monday, but we are uh, going to kind of break tradition and we're going to record a video because I just got the sealed cases of the brand new Pokemon Go gift tins and I have a lot of fun opening up Pokemon Go. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the new Pokemon Go set. I know some people are kind of blah, but for the most part, uh, the pull rates in here making it really fun to open up packs, kind of reminiscent of what we saw with Celebrations where it seems like it is a lot more common for you to pull something, uh, makes it a lot more enjoyable to open packs sometimes so uh the pokemon go gift tins come out officially this friday uh july 15th and like i said we just got them in so i wanted to break into them also i feel like i'm on a real heater right now i don't know if you guys if you guys watched yesterday's video uh but we kind of tried to debunk the myth that alternate art evolutions were impossible to pull from the evolving sky set so what we did is we looked at the data we kind of mapped everything out and we decided okay it's going to take 103 booster packs of evolving skies to pull one alternate art evolution based off of pull rates and data that we've compiled in the past uh, and we uh, we definitely debunked the myth and did a lot better so I wanted to see if that heater kind of carried over I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around I also wanted to test out my mic because we were having some terrible audio issues yesterday so here is the sealed case here I already broke it open and laid everything out just to keep things kind of moving efficiently uh, but the Blissey and the Snorlax are the same artwork as what we saw in the actual set as far as holographic rarities go the Pikachu is the only one that's a little bit different this is actually the common artwork uh, or the uncommon I can't remember common uncommon variant in the set there is a holographic Pikachu in the set but it's the one where he's wearing his Pikachu cap uh, it's different than this one so this is actually a little bit different because it does have a holographic variant with the, the bubble pattern there I'm sure the numbers are different on the bottom here but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna break into these and see if maybe we can pull that radiant Charizard or the radiant Blastoise or the Mewtwo alternate art the Mewtwo gold card something fun so we're gonna go ahead and break into all of these just to get a good idea of what pull rates look like so we oh yeah that's right you do get two Pikachus in this look at that guy that is so cool <laughs> with the gift delivery on the bottom so the Pikachu actually does have uh, the number 27 out of 78 on the bottom there. I don't know if you can quite make that out or not. And then the Sword and Shield 234. I forgot there were two different variants in there. That is super cool with the Pikachu delivering the gift there. And then we've got the stickers that come in here. And then the Pogo car, uh, Pogo code. I'm going to go ahead and flip. There's just so much stuff to give away. I want to make sure that I don't just throw anything out. So there's that. Hopefully somebody can use that stuff. There is the actual... Um, code card there's the sticker sheet and then it comes with four booster packs so these are going to retail for i believe 19.99 like i said they come out this friday so we're going to try and go through things relatively quickly uh just to kind of speed up the process i know you guys have things to do on this lovely monday and like i said we don't typically uh do much on mondays when it comes to recording holy buckets right away we've got a dragonite v star uh so that's a really nice way to kind of start things off uh, we're going to go ahead and sleeve that bad boy up. And hopefully, we'll see how pull rates go in this compared to uh, the other sets that we... Or the other collection boxes that we've opened up so far. Uh, so far, they have released the Alolan Executor collection box. And then the Team collection boxes. There's that Pikachu uh, normal artwork. As we've got just a Candela. Maybe we'll get one of those Dittos. Those Dittos are still selling uh, for over $8 a pop. But the Team Mystic, Team Instinct, and Team Valor collection boxes. As well as the ETB is what we've seen so far. There's still more product for Pokemon Go to come. So lots of good stuff in this set that is kind of going to carry us over until um, Lost Origin, which comes out at the beginning of September. September 9th, I think, is what they moved the date back to. So we're going to uh, kind of try and do a little bit of a um, look ahead to Lost Origin just to kind of see what we're getting. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, as far as that set goes, it'll be really interesting to see what we get in the trainer gallery. So out of that Pikachu tin, not a whole lot. We did get the Dragonite V-Star, uh, which is pretty cool. But other than that, not, not, not any really great pulls. No Radiant cards, no Ditto cards. We'll break into number two. When we open stuff up, we really like to open up a sealed case just to kind of get a feel for what we can expect. So there's the sticker sheet, which we'll set aside. And here is the Pokemon Go codes. Uh, I have never, I have not redeemed any of those yet, so I have no idea. You'll have to let me know in the comment section down below what you get with those. I don't even, I don't even know what it does for the game. Um, I haven't played Pokemon Go in way too long, mostly because life just gets busy, you know? It's just tough to find 
time to do all that stuff, and I still haven't even beaten Legends Arceus yet. I still need to beat that. Oh, my goodness. So far behind on just about everything. We started off with a bang last time. Holy buckets, we started off with a bang this time. We pulled the alternate art Mewtwo V. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. That is absolutely insane. Holy cow. Look at that. That is so crazy. All right, we're going to go ahead and sleeve that up right away. Look at that. That is just unbelievable. I was not... <laughs> I mean, I said let's hope for it. Maybe we can pull both. Now we need to get the Mewtwo gold. And if we can get the Radiant Charge, this could be... Maybe we will continue the heater. Maybe the heater will just continue as we got the double Gyarados in the next pack. No code card in this pack. What is going on? Where's the quality control? We're missing a code card. Holy buckets. I was not expecting to get that Mewtwo V uh, alternate art. That was uh, absolutely insane. So we'll see if there's anything else in here. Uh, there's another Pikachu. There's the Blissey, which we haven't even opened up the Blissey tins, but we pulled a Blissey Hollow. Moving on to pack number four. See if we can get something else out of this tin. It's already a busted tin just with one hit. And we got an Alolan Executor V alongside the V-Star marker. So that's pretty good. We got two hits out of that one, uh, which is 50% pull rates. That's, I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. Usually you hope for one. We're going to move on to the Blissey. You hope for one, but if you can get more, that's obviously a huge, huge bonus. Uh, we'll move on to the Blissey here and see if we can keep the heat going. Like I said, maybe we'll find a way to pull... Uh, a Radiant Charizard, or that Mewtwo Gold. There's the Pikachu and the Blissey Hollow. Um, the Mewtwo Gold, the Radiant Charizard. That's kind of what we're looking for. Just keep things going here. All right. So much stuff. There's just so much stuff in these tins. There is the codes for the Pokemon Go set. We're going to move this tin over here so that way we don't have stuff spilling all over the place. There's the code card for the actual tin. I think I gave everything away. Okay, moving on. Now we can actually get into the pack and hopefully pull something else really good. We have had really good luck with the first packs and it might continue here as we've got a Bulbasaur and a Mel Metal V Max. All right, not bad. Another hit out of the first pack. We're running into some first pack magic with every tin so far. All three tins that we've opened have all had a first pack hit, which is pretty insane. Nothing has been in the middle uh, middle two packs. We did get that Alolan Executor in the last pack for the last tin. So hopefully we can pull, uh, maybe we can pull something else, maybe break the streak and pull something in the middle packs here. We'll see. Uh, looks like uh, just an Articuno and a Hollow Lapras. That's also really cool. Uh, I do like that with this set is that uh, every pack has at least a holographic hit, which is really cool. Like I said, really reminiscent of what we had with Celebrations. And I think that these these um, specialty sets that they have, Charmander, oh, Rambo Rare Spark, let's go. Oh my goodness, our luck is just, it is continuing. We are on a, an official heater, which is really boding well uh, for the live pack breaks returning this upcoming Wednesday. This is this is really, really good so far. All right, let's see if we can keep it going with the last pack of this tin. Uh, we've gotten two hits already in this tin. Can we go three for four? That would be absolutely insane. Uh, we've got a Ditto Numel. <laughs> All right, so we pulled a Ditto card with the Numel. Uh, I'm not going to peel it. I'm just going to kind of leave it. Um, actually, I'm going to peel it. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at how cool. Uh, we got to peel it just because it's our first Ditto of the bunch. I think it's the first ditto that we've actually had uh, recording, too. So maybe I can peel it. This is what I get for trimming up my nails. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> All right. We've got our first ditto. I have not pulled one on stream yet or on uh, on video yet. So that's really, really cool to see. All right. We're going to keep it going with uh, Blissyton number two. Let's see if we can get something else. We've gotten some fire hits. Uh, the Rainbow Rare Spark, the Alternate Art Mewtwo. Dragonite V-Star and a Ditto. Maybe we'll pull, maybe we can pull another Ditto. We'll see. Get some of these goodies out of here. There's the Blissey. And then we've got the sticker sheet, which we set to the side. And then we give away the Pokemon Go card codes there. And then finally, we get to the packs. There's just so much in these tins. Uh, let me know what you think of Pokemon Go so far. How you think it's going. If you enjoy this this specialty set or not. Like I said, it's it's okay with me to have these specialty sets really be enjoyed by everybody. I know they've printed a lot of this stuff and the hit rates, the pull rates, people go both ways on it. But I really like the fact that it's um, you know, it's it's been really strong. Gyarados, no first pack magic with this one. 
Uh, but I do enjoy the fact that when you're opening packs, cracking packs to pull stuff, making the master sets a little bit easier to complete because, let's face it, it is, uh, it is not easy right now, Sylveon Hollow, to complete master sets, especially when it comes to opening packs. Uh, it's been rough, and Astral Radiance was a step in the wrong direction after we had some really good hits with Brilliant Stars. It seemed like we kind of took a step backwards. All right, we've got a Pokestop Reverse Hollow and a Mewtwo V. We have not pulled one of those yet. We haven't pulled any doubles yet, which is pretty good. Uh, so there's our first Mewtwo V to go along with our alternate art Mewtwo V. And we'll see if we get something else in the last pack. Otherwise, this tin, uh, just a Mewtwo V so far. We'll see. Maybe pull some last pack magic in this Blissey tin here. Uh, doesn't look like it. On Pheasant and a Blastoise Hollow. It is really cool that you get the big three in holographic form. There's a lot of a lot of fun hits, a lot of fun cards to pull in this. With that gimmick ditto, uh, makes things really fun. And then with the, the holographics, obviously with uh, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise, not just being in the Radiant slot, but also having the potential to get it as a holographic card is pretty cool as well. So lots of really cool stuff uh, in, this, in this set, which... I'm a big fan of. I think it's really cool. All right, moving on to uh, tin number five, which is the Snorlax tin. We'll see what we can get out of here. If we can keep the magic going, um, maybe pull something else here. We've got that spark, that rainbow rare spark. We've got the alternate art Mewtwo V, which is super cool. I uh, haven't pulled a Radiant card yet. Lunatone, which a lot of people are having uh, a ton of fun playing on PTCGO. And I, I can understand why. A lot of people aren't happy to play it all the time, uh, play against it. But it is a definitely going to be a fun deck to play. As we've got an Alolan Rattata and another Melmetal VMAX. I shouldn't have spoken so soon um, about the no duplicates. Because now we've gotten our first duplicate and it's a Melmetal. So we'll see if we get something in the last two packs here. I did get a lot of questions yesterday about my finger. <laughs> because I have it all bandaged up. Uh, Sylveon Hollow and a V-Star Marker. I decided to cut some watermelon for the 4th of July, and on, like, one of the last slices, I confused my finger for the watermelon, or vice versa. Pikachu Hollow, and that's it. So just a Metal Metal VMAX, not a great tin there, uh, and it hurt really bad. It was not good. It is, uh, it is finally starting to heal a little bit, but it is still in bad shape, so I have it bandaged up because it is... Oof, duh. I would not recommend removing part of your finger. Let's just go that route. I will. Uh, I took the hit, so you guys don't have to on that one. <laughs> don't remove your finger, or just don't cut watermelon. Might be a little bit safer of a, of a bet. All right, moving on to the last tin. We'll see if we can get something else. It's been a little slow since that Rainbow Rare Spark, but who knows? We did get that alternate art Mewtwo V. So no matter what, this opening is going to be busted because who does not love that card? It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but we've got four packs here to try and pull uh, a Radiant of some sort. Usually 18 packs are going to pull a Radiant. So we're opening up 20 packs. Six times four is 24. So we should pull at least one Radiant out of here. Ambipalm and Zapdos. Nothing there. So you would think uh, you would think that we would pull a Radiant based off of pull rates. But nothing so far. Even if it's uh, a Venusaur or a Blastoise, we'll see if we can get something busted in this last tin here. As we've got a Lapras and another Mewtwo V. All right, our luck might be slowing down a little bit. This is our second Mewtwo V with two packs left. No Radiant card so far, but maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll pull, maybe we'll pull the Radiant Charizard. You don't know. It just takes one pack. That's the great thing about it. It just takes one pack. Radiant Blastoise. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Holy buckets. It's not the Charizard, but we will take it. It is a Radiant, and it is the Blastoise variant. Look at that bad boy. I love the cross-stitching. I love the pattern work. I just, it just, the Radiant cards just bring me back to, like, the old Neo Rev slash Neo Destiny Shinings. I just think they're really cool. I know they're a little bit easier to pull, but I just, I do love them. Candela and Lapras. All we got in that tin was a Radiant card and a Mewtwo V. But overall, still really, really good opening with the Rainbow Rare Spark and the Mewtwo V. Like I said, these come out on Friday, July 15th. Let me know if you're going to pick any up. If Maybe you have some pre-ordered. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the opening. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. Leave a comment because it does go a long way for the algorithm. Also, 
Uh, we are closing in on 75,000 subscribers, and I am going to do something very fun. I just paid for it last week. It just got shipped today, and it is, I guarantee you, it's something you're not going to want to miss. You're going to want to be a part of. So hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Help me get to 75,000 because I am very impatient right now, and I really want to get this, uh, this information out there and uh, open up what is coming uh, and give it away to you guys. You guys are going to enjoy. So share the channel. Let people know to join the fan clan. With that being said, guys, thank you so much. Until next time, until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Peace.